Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. <clears throat> it's Adventure Monday. And we're playing part two of Big Trouble in Little China, the game, Lopan's Lair. So then we're playing Act 2. <clears throat> and as you can see, the board's different. There's no tokens on the board. We have our monsters and our heroes set up. We have no more Big Trouble cards. We have our, we still have Hell cards, so if you die, you still draw a Hell card. And But now we have a Big Trouble track. It would just every round you're gonna move this and if it gets to game over game over you're dead so you put it on the space um, one through four players here and we get put it on number five here because we have two players and if you remember we were both Jack and, and Wayne we're both at level five <clears throat> they both completed their main missions and we have Gracie and Eddie as a companion so let's go over how we set up the board. Well, first thing you do is you look, there's a card in here. You look as whether you flip the board over when in Act 2 for the Big Trouble track or the Audacity track. And we went for the Audacity track. We, we had our Audacity get to the center instead of the Big Trouble first. So it, it tells you to put how to set up the board. So we low pan starts here at 210. And then we have to spawn all the number of minions. And all we had to spawn was <clears throat> two Spirit Path Warriors. And they're right here. Okay? So that tells us that. Now, we completed Jack's quest. And as you can see, there's an incomplete and a complete side. And we completed his quest, so this is how we're going to start his. He starts on level 3, 4, which is his base. And we spawn three Wing Kong Hatchet Men on 3, 8. Okay? no quest effect and if we beat the th three wing kong we get a key we'll get into that in a second <clears throat> alright green eye beauty we completed as you can see we have an incomplete and complete start so Wayne can start anywhere on the third floor and we're gonna put him in the same space as Jack and we had to spawn two security guards on level here and here and if we kill three security guards we get a key and all we have to do is they have a pump lead they can shoot through walls however the calm before the storm quest we did not complete if you remember that was it so we have a quest effect complete incomplete and we have to spawn lightning on this space right here okay so he's gonna be in, in here as well because we did not complete that now um, what's this deal with the keys okay so in order to go to the third level there's elevators here and here and if you have players on the bottom level there's elevators that go to the third level uh, the second level as well where Lopan is our, our, our quest is to kill Lopan before Big Trouble Track gets the game over in order to get to go to the second level you have to get keys okay and you have to get uh, one less key per how many heroes you have so we have two heroes so we only need one key so if we complete Wang's quest and kill three security guards or Jack's quest, defeat three Wing Kong hatchet men, we can get one key and then we can go ahead, both characters can proceed to the second level. Okay? These guys will stay down here. They're not going to move around up here, but these guys will move and, and, and attack us and stuff. So, <clears throat> um... Uh, that's the way you go to the second level. If you had four players, you would need to get three keys. I re-rolled the fate dice, and so we have our fate track refreshed again. We can use that. Now let's talk about these boss characters. As you can look at them, we have lightning here. He has three movement, and he has seven attack, and he can be ranged. Health five, strike back three, four chi when you hit him. And he has a special ability meltdown. At the end of each round, each hero in line of sight lighting takes one damage. Now, the boss guys are a little different because every time you hit them, uh, they don't die. If we do five hits, instead we move the peg down one. And then, then we would move, if we get five more hits, we move the peg down there and he's dead. And it, it scales depending on the number of players you have. So we start with two players, so he's at two health here. Now we have a little pan who doesn't move, and if you attack him, you don't do it. You get strike back three, six health, two cheap per hit, and every round he's going to roll two 
epic dice and then whatever the result is we got to do okay so he has two health too because we have two players but when he gets to here you flip him over and he's made flesh and you put that there and when let's see uh he's going to retreat and his stats are going to change somewhat so we're going to kind of be pressed for time to get him okay but i hope we can do it and let's go ahead and start with Jack. And uh, we're going to go ahead and roll these dice here. Okay, so this is what we got for Jack. Oops, I turned that. Alright, so Jack is in the same space with some of these security guards. See, I got one body. So I tell you what, we'll spin one there, two white. Now these security guards have four health so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend one this and get another white die and we're gonna try to kill one of them all right we were short one look at that if um, looks like I might have to use a fate we're gonna get two extra hits and we're gonna kill one security guard so he kills one of the security guards He's going to gain four chi. All right, but now we have to roll for this. And it's a good one, so all clear. Okay, and now let's see. I want to kill the other security guard. So we're going to do this. So we're getting two dice for the gun. One for that. Let's see here. And I'll take another epic here. Let's see if we can get four dice. Four hits, I'm sorry. Okay, I got four hits that time. So he killed this security guard. So again, he's going to get <clears throat> four chi. And then I have one more action I can do, and I will just go ahead and move uh, one, two. Okay, so it's Wang's turn. <clears throat> Go ahead and do Wang. See what he gets. Okay, we'll move. One, two. All right, and let's see here. All right, he has World Spin an Epic. Because he has a ranged attack with a sword, so he can do that. And then he gets one of these. <clears throat> these guys are three. And I will go ahead and spend one more white and see if we can kill one of them oh we failed oh wait a minute hold on because Eddie's my companion well it failed still all right well it looks like I'm gonna have to spin one of these and we kill one of the Wayne Kong um, hatchet men <clears throat> three chief for him all right, let's roll this die, see what happens. Oh, that's so bad, so I'm going to lose five chi. Well, that's fine. Okay, now I have two dice left, and I will get an epic, two epics, and another epic, actually. And let's fight this other guy. Okay, well, we beat that one, so that one is dead, and I'm going to gain three chi. Okay. Now, there is a rule in this game <clears throat> um, that I hadn't used. It's where if you roll a couple demons, like three demons, uh, you get bad luck. I, I don't play with that rule. I don't think that's a that's really a good rule. Um, it, it imposes a penalty on you. Um, but there is that rule. I just want to let you know. And that's basically it. Now, I think what I'm going to do... <clears throat> is I'm going to use Wang's special ability and he's going to get to go again and re-roll his dice. Okay, so let's see what he has. Alright. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we got a sword, we'll spend two white and we will spend one more white and try to kill that one. If we do that, we can get a key. Ah, man, we were short. 
Uh, and I don't have anything I can do with those. So I'm going to take strike back damage. And that's going to be each hero in his space. So he's going to lose two health. And I'm going to lose. Jack's going to lose two health. Wang, you rolling terrible. So let's go again. Gain this. Gain this. Um, we'll spin that one. We'll get another epic. And we will spin one body and gain another epic. That time is no problem. He's dead. Okay, so he's going to gain three chi. Okay, so, and then we have one more dice we can do. I can do an epic. Let's see, let's move him. One, two. And then that, that'll be it. All right, so that's the end of the hero's turn. Let's do the big trouble track. We're going to move down. The security guards are going to get to go. And they have a movement of two. So they're going to move one, two. And they can shoot through walls. So they're going to be shooting a jack. <clears throat> now each one's going to be shooting a jack. And they have four dice. So we take the first one. And they do four hits. Okay, so jack has a defense. This. And he blocks two. So jack is going to take two damage. And the other one's going to attack. And he's going to take five hits. Yeesh. Oh, man. You know what? I forgot Gracie's plus defense rolls. So I'm going to roll an extra die. All right. So I would have took one less for the last turn. All right. Now I had blocked five hits. Look at that. So I blocked all those. Okay. So that's good. So it's our hero's turn. Let's go with Jack. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I think I'm going to move Jack. We do this. One, two. And then let's see here. We'll do this again. And he's going to go down the elevator now. One, two. And he has line of sight on Lopan. I mean, our goal is to kill Lopan. So we kill him and we still have enemies standing around. We still win. And let's see what I want to do here. I have this. Let's put an epic here. Two white for my gun. And let's see here. Can I do five with that? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and we'll roll another epic. Okay. Well, <clears throat> now, Jack has that thing, remember? He scores two hits instead of one. So two, four, six. So he does do one hit on Lopan. So we're going to do one hit on Lopan. And Jack's going to gain two chi. And he's going to level up. And that means we're going to be able to flip a card or gain a new one and we'll flip the CB radio and he's got an extra defense now an epic defense I still have one die I can do <clears throat> and um, hmm ah, it's not really gonna do anything so I don't know I mean I could try let's go three attack on low pan uh, two, four, that is one short, that is not good enough. So I'm going to take strike back damage of three. Okay, Wayne's going to go ahead and go. <clears throat> See what he got here. All right, we'll move him down. One, two. <clears throat> All right, he will also attack Lopan because he has range <clears throat> with his sword. So he's going to get... 
one epic, an epic, a sword, one white, hmm, and another white because Eddie's with him. Okay, well that's three. That is not good enough. <clears throat> So yeah, that is not good enough. So I'm going to take strike back damage of three. Okay, um, maybe I will do that one. This gives me an epic. So I have two epics and one white, and then I have another epic. Let's try again. This time I get better luck. I did not. That's terrible again. So. Strike back of three. That was a horrible, <clears throat> horrible turn for him. Okay, well that's it for them. It's the bad guys are gonna go. Now uh, <clears throat> we'll start with these guys. They can only move one space, so they move one. Um, the security guards up there are gonna rush down. They can move two spaces, one, two. Uh, lightning here can move three. One, two, three. Lopan doesn't move. So Lightning can attack, and uh, <clears throat> he's going to attack the guy who with the most damage, and that is Wang. So he's going to spend seven die to attack Wang. Five, six, and then we'll have to another one. So one, two, three, four, six. Wang took six hits. He has. <clears throat> Three defense. He blocked one, so he takes five damage. So that's going to kill him. So Wang is dead. We have to move this one more because Wang died. And he has to get a hell card. It says when you do combat, always trigger strike back. That is terrible. Okay, and at the end of the round, <clears throat> lightning uh, with each hero line of sight takes one damage. So Wang's going to take one, and Jack's going to take one. Now, Lopan rolls uh, two epic die. And we got two twos. Well, one epic die, I'm sorry, two. Hero with the highest chi in line of sight of Lopan loses six health. Well, that's going to be Wang, so he's going to lose six health, so he loses three more health. Yikes. And now it's our hero's turn. <clears throat> so, eef. Alright, so that was a bad round, man, on that. Jack's going to roll. Let's see what he gets. Alright, so <clears throat> he's got two body. It's two epic plus two white. And he's going to attack low pan. Okay, that's two, four, six, eight. So he hits low pan. So we're going to flip low pan over. He's going to gain two chi for doing that. And Lopan is going to retreat. Uh, we're going to roll to see where he goes. He's going to go to the top level. He's going to go to uh, corresponding syllable with the uh, one. I think you roll a one. Yeah, you roll a one. Right here. So he's going to go here. <clears throat> so we have to chase him again. Okay. Wow, that was a waste of uh, stuff, but let's see here. Jack can still go. So let's see here. We're going to take Jack and we're going to move him one, two. And then we're going to go again. We're going to go one, two. And then he's going to actually attack. And he's going to do an epic. And he gets two white. Uh, I'll him off. Okay, two, four. It's not good enough. That's not good enough. However, <clears throat> if Jack would die in combat, well, let's see here. Strike back is six. He would. Instead, flip this and deal one hit to the attacking enemy. So he does one hit to low pan.
Okay. And that's the end of Jack's turn. Now it's Wang's turn. Let's see what Wang rolls here. Let's go with Wang. We're going to go one, two, three. <clears throat> and then we have the rest of these. One white. An epic. Another white and epic. And then we'll just do overkill to white. Okay, well that was six on the dot. It's what well it's four to hit him, but that's fine. So we do one more damage to him. And he's gonna gain two chi. Oops. Okay. And that is the end of the turn. We are down to, I forgot to move it. We moved one because he died. Yeah, we forgot to move it. So we're down to one. We got to beat him uh, before the next round. So these guards are going to move one. Uh, these guys can move two. One, two. And they're going to shoot. Lopan can move one. And Lightning can go three. One, two, three. So they're chasing us now. All right, so let's see what happens. We'll start with the two security guards. <clears throat> Jack is the most wounded, so they're going to go after Jack. Okay, well, uh, four hits on Jack. His defense is that, that, and another one. Oh, and another one. Jack blocks it. All right. And then the second security guard. Six hits. Ugh. Jack blocks all six. So oh, that's good on that. <clears throat> Lightning <clears throat> is going to attack Jack. And he has, like I said, seven die. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Jack blocks all of those. So you see why I got the defense cards. They help. <clears throat> okay, Lopan rolls five die. And he's attacking Jack as well. <clears throat> One, two, e, four, six, eight. He hit Jack eight. Yikes. That's going to be... Whew. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know what? We actually lost the game. Because of this hell card. When you do combat, always trigger strike back. Well, Wang hit Low Pan for a damage, and that strike back is six. So he died, would have died again, got another health card, and we would have had to move this again, and it would have been game over. Yep, that's game over. But let's say, um, let's see if Jack could have blocked. He would have blocked three. He would have took five damage. He would have died and got a hell card. So, yeah. Man, that went quick. Let me make sure I had that right. I know we first round started there. All right, we, we beat our guys basically on the first round. So we would have moved. Then we would have moved on. The, all right, that. And then they would have gone. Second round. Two deaths. 
and then the third round up here. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just see if we can kill Lopan in this in the last turn here. Though we technically we lost. Uh, Jack would have got a hell card because he would have died. See, it was uh, you may not take task actions. Well, that's not too bad. So let's see if Jack could have killed Lopan. It's his turn. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> we could have used this. One, two, three. Two epics, one regular. And then two whites. You know what? Let's take an epic out. Yeah, look at that. Four. He would have hit him, and then he would have had another turn with a bit, another epic. Two whites, two more whites. Yes. So he would have killed Lopan this turn. We were just one turn short. We got killed one too many times, and our defense was not. Um, well, you see, that's why you need to level up. That is why you need to level up on this game. Um, dang, because we just lost by one round. Well, I actually lost by two, really, because the game over, because we died twice. Jack died once, and uh, Wayne died once. And that moves the big trouble track one time every time you die. So you can't, you really can't die in this second uh, act, or you're really in trouble. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me talk about my final thoughts about this game. Um, I think the minis are good. I like the minis. I mean, they're pretty detailed. Um, I think the components are, are fairly good. The dice are good. You get a lot of them. Well, not enough white. There should have been a little bit more white dice. Um, I think the cards and the board is really good. Uh, straight out of the movie. Um, I think replayability is really good because you have six characters and they have two quests, two main quests apiece. You have a stack of side quests. So replayability is really good. I know the next time we play, we're going to play The Legacy of Lopan, which is the expansion for this game. It's where you go through time. The setup will be a little different. Um... So my final thoughts about this game. I like this game. I think um, everything Epic did a, another fantastic job. This game feels like Big Trouble in Little China. Um, it's like a sandbox game. It's a rare, it's one of those rare, the first half of the sand is a sandbox. The second half is more kill the monster type thing. Um, so it offers ton of replayability uh, every hero is totally different really and um, you have a bunch of, you know I have a bunch of bosses we have you know wild man thunder and rain um, there's a lot of dice chucking and a lot of it is up to random but that's the fake track kind of help alleviates that um, do I recommend this game? Well, if you're a fan of Big Trouble in Little China, yeah, I recommend this game. Uh, this is a very good game. I, I hope everything epic, I really would love to see everything epic tackle more John Carpenter licenses. I really would. Think of all the games they can make from all the different John Carpenter movies. I know they plan on having expansions, more expansions for this game. Hey, I'm all for it and I'll be getting them. Um, I've played this game several times now with my son and my daughter. They both enjoyed it. Um, my youngest son, it was a little bit at first, the hardest thing for him to pick up on was the dice rolling and then spending them on actions and keeping up track with what they can do like move two or move three use an epic die or you use a regular die 
he had a little trouble with that at first, and he's 10 years old. Um, but he got it after playing for a little bit. Uh, my eldest daughter, uh, she's 18. She got it pretty quick. Um, well, I, after explaining the rules to her, I didn't, she didn't have to read any rule book. I just explained the rules. They seemed to enjoy it. Um, he, my voice played it a couple times. He likes his game. Uh, he likes the movie. Um, you know, I introduced a new generation of kids to John Carpenter movies, and he likes the the Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, it's you can play it with kids, um, and it's a really it's a fun good game. I'm glad I pre-ordered this. I know I had to wait almost a year for it. I'm glad I did it. Um, like I said, another good one from Everything Epic. The only thing that I may see be a problem besides the learning curve of the dice thing because he was wanting to just okay I rolled these three let me just put them here and I was like no just do one at a time and go through your actions is the act one act two thing flipping the, the board and, and redoing it but to me I like that I think that's cool I, I wish there were more games like that that you got a double-sided game board, which is huge, and it's double-sided, man. You, you do a lot of stuff with that. Um, I know everything Epic plans on sending a retail version out soon. If you, if you like sandbox games, forget Big Trouble in Little China. If you just like sandbox games, uh, this is a good game. And if you really like Big Trouble in Little China, I highly recommend get this. Uh, I know he's going to do a retail version of the regular version and then sell the Legacy of Lopan expansion later. Um, Everything Epic Games is a good studio. They had a problem with the dice so they gave, they they you know redid some dice and put them in the box. Like I said I was missing a figure within a couple weeks I had that figure. Um, I, I think Chris is usually on Facebook or Board Game Geek and responds pretty quickly to questions and stuff. Um, I think this is a great game, and I, I I like it. And it does feel like Big Trouble in Little China. It has a theme with the quest. It just it just feels like it. If you've seen the movie, you'll and liked it. This theme goes with the game really well. Um, so a good effort, a, a good plus. I recommend it. Um, I can't stress that enough. So next time we play Big Trouble in China, uh, we're going to play the, the expansion Legacy of Lopan on Adventure Monday. Uh, we lost by one round. Uh, maybe we'll win that one. So until the next time, I hope to see you. Have fun.